Hi everyone, I'm Rincy and I am one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot. In last week's video I gave four tips for nonfiction beginners and someone left a comment talking about how I should make a video with recommendations for nonfiction beginners, which is a good idea in the general sense, but when you think about it, nonfiction is such a huge genre that it's really hard to give just a general nonfiction recommendation. I mean, it's kind of like if someone came up to you and was like, hey, I've never read any book before ever. Can you recommend something to me? Which is a thing people do, but you know. <laughs> It's easier to provide nonfiction recommendations if you have a little bit of a better idea of what they're actually interested in. One of the tips that I mentioned in that video is the fact that you should pick up a book based on what your interests are. I'm going to try my best to do just sort of like a really quick and dirty rundown of some authors that you guys can check out if you are interested in nonfiction books. I know we've done a couple of videos that are based on nonfiction books so I will try to link those down in the description box as well. So the very first recommendation that I have is to check out Mary Roach. Mary Roach was one of my very first nonfiction writers that I ever read and got into. Um, the one that I picked up is Stiff and I believe that Stiff is her most popular book but she has books on a whole bunch of different topics including space, the digestive system, I think she has one about sex as well so you know whatever floats your book pick up one of her books. She does a really great job of taking these topics that might be seen as very complex or complicated and breaking them down for anyone to be able to understand as well as providing enough sort of fun and culturally relevant examples that you become engaged with the story whether you have a science background or not. On a similar note I always recommend Sarah Ball as well. She was another one of my first nonfiction writers that I really got into and Assassination Vacation was the very first one that I read from her. She has four or five different books out that are all about American history and she's an author that I always recommend. In this book she ends up going on a road trip and visiting different sites that have to do with assassinations or assassination attempts. So she has this sort of irreverent sense of humor. She loves America and she loves American history but she also recognizes all of the flaws and complications but in it. I also recommend her books on audiobook and I believe that this one has a bunch of different celebrity guest parts as well. They like speak the roles of the different presidents and things like that so it's kind of fun. But I know that her voice may not suit everyone so definitely just give it a preview before you check it out on audiobook but it's definitely a fun one to listen to especially if you're on a road trip yourself. If you want a nonfiction book that sort of reads like fiction then I recommend John Burnt. He wrote Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil as well as The City of Falling Angels. This one takes place in Georgia and this one takes place in Italy. This one was made into a movie in the 90s with John Cusack. He does sort of these true crime related stories. He plants himself in these cities, one in Georgia, obviously one in Italy, and he really finds out what these neighborhoods and cities have going on and sort of the deep dark underbelly that they might be hiding from the rest of the world. It's really really fascinating and I think they totally read like fiction novels as opposed to nonfiction books. Another one that is very often recommended is Bill Bryson. The one I have is The Life and Times of the Thunderbolt Kid, but he has written so many different books about so many different topics. A lot of them are about like a specific period of his life. He'll go traveling to different places or he'll be living in different places and so he will write about his experiences in that time. This follows his childhood and is just so engaging, so much fun. I've heard his audiobooks are really fantastic as well so if you are someone who wants to try out nonfiction on audio then Bill Bryson is a great one to check out. If you are someone who likes to share the things that they're reading or the fun facts that they're reading or you're someone who is constantly perusing like Wikipedia entries, some good books to check out would be A Brief History of the World in Six Glasses which is a micro history about you know the history of the world within these six different beverages which are beer, wine, spirits, coffee, tea, and coca-cola. It's a really fun way of looking at world history in this very specific detailed manner. Malcolm Gladwell is always a good one for nonfiction beginners. This is David and Goliath but he has a bunch of different books out there. The Tipping Point was the first one that I read. Outliers is another really fantastic one that people enjoy. Is sort of known for his like anecdata style where he will look at these very specific like case studies on 
almost to prove a bigger point about the world and how the way that we look at the world is often not the way that the world actually operates. AJ Jacobs has written some really great stuff as well. He's pretty funny, pretty irreverent. The one that I've read is The Know-It-All, One Man's Humble Quest to Become the Smartest Person in the World. And so this basically chronicles his time as he tries to read through the entire Encyclopedia Britannica. This one just appealed to me because I'm someone who, when I was a little kid, used to read the Encyclopedia for fun because that's what you do when you're a lonely child with an encyclopedia set. So yeah, those are all of my recommendations for right now just because I don't want this to turn into a 20 minute video. But seriously, all of my videos for like the past couple of months have all had nonfiction books in them and I cannot recommend going back and just watching those and seeing which topics appeal to you and if I mention some nonfiction books in those videos then pick those up if they sound interesting. If you read any of these books feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know if you would recommend them as well to other people or if you have some other books that you would recommend to nonfiction beginners definitely leave that down in the comment section as well. So yeah that's all I have for this week and I will see you guys next week. Bye!